He deals with the Pasik, which is an amazingly beautiful Pasik, because there's so many. But, you know, they, it says there, I put before you a bracha and klala, right? Chaim Oves, uvachar tevachar. Choose life. So the Kamara is going to deal with it. So the first thing I'm going to say is that the Sofer says, and really Rav Nassim says the same thing, uh, a little later, I guess, because Sofer is a little before him. Um, so, um, I think... So um, the Chassam Sofer asks, what is Ubachata Vachayim business? What do you mean Ubachata? You should choose life. He said it should say, go in the way of life. Not choose. Choose sounds like it's a vote. I choose, I choose spaghetti, right? What do you mean you choose? I choose this person, I choose that person. What do you mean you choose? You go in life. What do you mean? Do life. Vasita Chayim. Vasita Der Chayim. Say something that connotes action. Not something that's just like, um, you know what I mean? Uh, strange. Ah, I choose. I chose the life. That's it. I, I saw the light. I chose. What do you mean you chose? To do, you know, uh, we understand that you can choose. A person chooses to go to a certain yeshiva, it doesn't show up. <laughs> it's a problem. It's he chose. Very nice. But you have to come. You have to do. You can't just choose. That's right. I, I don't know. What you? It's different. <laughs> <laughs> There's some yeshivas if they let you in, you don't show up when they said. You show up the next month, you're not in. I know someone couldn't make it that month. He came. Like no, you had to come. You didn't come. Now you're not in. I'll be talking. He had a word. He didn't come that first night. He said, he came the next month. He had a problem. He came and like, no, you don't have, you don't have a place for you. No. 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 Sure I didn't oh, I just don't come sometimes. sometimes Everyone yeah. is different. No, I I but like, the yeah. kids are the first should say, not of a heart. The lashon of a heart to seem schwer. So they said so this. this so the, um, so the, um, so, so what he's told, so the sofas are very, very important. He says, listen. So the bachat of means, you have to understand that really you can't do anything. Doing has to do with bringing Hashem into your life and He gives it to you. Like the Gemara says, right? if, you don't, if Hashem doesn't help you, the Yitzhara starts every day, starts up with you. And if Hashem didn't help you, forget it. You're falling, you fall in the hands of the Yitzhara. There's no other way, there's no other way around. So you need Hashem's help. So you can only choose life. Choose, I, I want life. Then you get what you need to get. But mm-hmm. you want life, so, so do, what's, we'll do the way of life. So that's, a, that's the first thing. That's very Pasha, the Pasha Pshat. And what's going on with Hatav Chaim is this concept. The Rasul also says the same thing. He says, whatever you do, I'm very fond of this line, right? He says, whatever you do, he says, you have to know that there's certain things you can't control if you're trying to do. He says, you can't really have any control about the beginning, middle, or end. So what can you control? You control you. You have to, you want your ruts and your desire, you're waiting, preparing, wanting, but you can't actually do it. Doing it is a shame. You need help. You need, Hashem. You need divine assistance. That's it. So the command is very, very interesting. He said, it says in the in others, everything is seen, right? It called Safui, and the shus is given. So he says, everything is seen. So he explains that the whole world was created through Torah. Torah is what everything is. So this world is called in the, in the Torah Zoya, Alim Te Shapirta, it's in the, in the regular Zoya. In the regular Zoya, Alim Te Shapirta, a, a uh, Pretty girl, or a nice looking girl, or a shapir, a shifra, a beautiful girl, and has no eyes. That's this world. This world has so much beauty. He not just like beautiful, he says, you look in this world, you can make incredible profit. You do mitzvahs, you do good things, incredible profit. You don't have to even, usually when you want to make a profit, what do we say, if you don't, if you don't uh, speculate, you can't accumulate, right? You have to invest money, and then you make money. Usually, if someone says, oh yeah, you'll make a lot of money, but then investing, usually it's not going to work that way. You have to work very hard. You have to get schayr. You have to do something. You have to invest and find a way. He said, "This world." He said, "But for ruchnis, it's free. You don't have to invest anything. You get a little time, a little effort, and you can do so much." He said, "A person can, you know, a person wants to do business. I don't know if you know what it's like to build a business. It's incredibly difficult. It's it's endless hours. It's a lot of toil and work, sweat, blood. You're really killing yourself to, to make uh, make money. In in, in times 100, 200 years ago, it was even harder. It had gone a wagon. It was through snow and ice. And who's if your stuff wasn't stolen? Who knows what's going to happen? And here he is. He said, you can do all that, and you don't make a penny. You lose money. You invest in money. You lost everything. He said, Torah's like that. So whatever you do, it's forever. You just you just do. You you learn Torah. You do good bits. You do good things. So it's forever. It's no problem. It's the best. Even even a good desire is never lost. Everything's forever. So grab hold. Do what you're supposed to do. Chapa right. You know that's the, the right. The Alter, Alter Kelm says every every door. He said he said you have to know that that, that the world, as you say it, says like this. Nevshchaim is this idea, right? Right. Nevshchaim also says this concept, really, right? Much that uh, you have a person who is a baruch of He said the, the whole world 
It's enough that, the, that it, the, you'd say one baruch of Hashem is already enough to keep the world in existence. He said one baruch of Hashem, one amen is like a thousand baruch of Hashem. One yesh mir abba is like a thousand amens, and one word of Torah is like a thousand yesh mir abbas. He said, just think about the incredible schools of every little tiny thing. Now, Chatz Levitin said it. You, 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 and Renach was very into this idea, very, very much. It's kind of you know, every good point forever. He says that that a person went through his whole life and somehow he blew it all, totally blew it to pieces. Didn't manage to do anything. One time he said, "Amen." That's it. And he dies, and he knows what he has to go through, like tikkun and minyan and gugulim, and who knows what. And then finally he reaches this stage when it's time to get the reward for Amen. He says, "All could die." He said, "Kol kedai amen yesh but I'm for sure kedai." Even if the whole kolchos is a different question, but he answered it like it sincerely. It's not the kol kolchos. He didn't do it like the best way, perfectly. No, he just did a regular, like average, a big deal. Oh, oh, it, unbelievable! He just my was completely. The Rambam says he did one good mitzvah, like he did them all. No, he didn't do it so good. He did it okay. He, he sincerely tried to answer, tried to honor Hashem one time. It's already also very, 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 very good. What's considered a word of Torah? A word of Torah is you, you say a word. With Chavetz Chaim, you could do what two fifty a minute or something. What? You say a word. You say you say. What do you mean? You, you speak. You say Mishnah. You say this. Anything. That's the whole. That's the whole thing to be aware of. That's why he says. That's why Tav Tav Mikun. We do so much. We're going to see a little more about Torah here. This whole piece is very much about Torah. So the whole world is about Torah. So the, this world is like this beautiful, beautiful maiden with no eyes. You can't see what's really going on in this world. It's not about a muna. You don't see. You look at the world. Ah, like, oh, here and today, especially people have devices and all this access to who knows what, who knows where, and you can't see. You don't understand that this this is eternally of so much ability to make eternity, and it's so precious and so valuable. The fee, how hard it is, it's so valuable. And today, it's, the chidas is every generation. The harder it is, the more valuable. It's every drop of Torah, every drop of muna, it's so kedai, it's so kashim, and we, we we don't understand that that it's like we're just blind. We don't see what's really going on. If we saw what's really going on, we would do things completely differently. The Medrash says if Aaron knew the Torah would say that he came to meet his brother, he would have come with, uh, with instruments. <laughs> so happy. We don't understand how important what we do and what it means and how it means. We don't get it. Yeah, we don't see. He said, they nay him. is amazing. They nay him is this place called Hechal Chus. This place where everything's weighed and measured and worked out. This and Hedrin, like, working out what's, how hard is it for you, like the Mizur says, and like the, uh, and the Chalas. The Zohar talks about this, about the, uh, the it's not called Hechas Chus, which is where every person is judged, and every person will feel how much did you know better, how much were you challenged, how much, maybe the mitzvah had repercussions, maybe the better repercussions, it's like so much complicated judging everything. So that's called the eyes. Then you start to see... Is open? Uh, no, I don't know why it's open. I think that everybody is here. But anyway, uh, so anyway, um, so... This concept, this this idea, this idea of, of that's when you start to see in this Hechal's Chus how everything you do is so precious, so eternal, it's forever. Everything, everything, everything you do is forever. It's eternal. It's all eternal. You start to hop, like, what did I do? I was so blind. I didn't understand the repercussions, the significance of what I did or what, I, or what I'm holding. I didn't hop. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you start to see, oh, this, this repercussion, this good thing, and that good thing, like the Chavetan's famous marshal in Torah uh, Sabayis, right? The person's going through, uh, he's going through, uh, he said, you don't learn, you don't waste your time reading newspapers, what are you, crazy? He's like, are you nuts? How can you do it? It's like a guy who went to, to a land, he went to a land where gems were cheap, onions were precious. So he goes to make money for his family, but then he sort of gets confused. He's like, oh, onions, that's what's chashed, and he starts to like, put onions, he brings a whole shipload of onions. Onions like worth a few bucks. What do we do? He's ten years out of his house. Oh, years out of his house. But like you have onions, you went to this place where where gems were nothing. He's like, yeah, you could buy things with onions. That was the chashivas. The gems don't mean anything. And then he's like, here he is. He's got nothing going on. And like, don't you have any? So finally, they pull it back. Oh right, a few fell here. Why? A million dollars each, and a few in, in the cuff of his pants. A few here. He brings out a few, and that's his home. That's what he brings. Because that's every person. You don't understand how precious. Please come in. How important it is. How, how precious and how, how meaningful every midst of a good thing. If we even knew, we would be so careful, we'd be so strong. We don't understand, we don't get it. That's the trouble. So that's the, that's the first thing to be aware of. Like we, we're, we're just blind, we don't understand. So he says that, that you have to know that every person, we all have, do you mind bringing another chair? So he said, we all have to know that, we all have to know that you have a Bechina, this Bechira. He said, you have your own 
tendencies. The Gemara in Shabbos says, right, the person could be a murderer or he could be a male. He could be someone who does brisim. You have a, or a shaykhet. There are different things you can use, tendencies for, for that are positive and negative. Every person, he says, you have, you have everything seen in your potential, but the actualization of it, Hashem generally doesn't get involved in the actualization. You have to make a decision, bring the Torah into your life, and then you'll be able to see, and you'll be able to understand, and you'll be able to change yourself. As the Torah influences you and changes you completely. The, the truth is that that's what it says in our, our, in our parsha, and we're going to see it. Um, I don't know if we're going to see it now. Not, not this time, but the Nassim brings this idea of that, that the Shira Hazos, you will answer the Shira as an aid, as a witness. The Nassim says the Shira is a Torah. The Torah is the witness that the Shira is telling me, even when it's difficult, that, that the Torah is going to take you out of your problems. The Nassim said, it says in the Gemara, even if they abandoned me and did my Torah, everything will be okay. The Nassim says, Lata points out, the Chida, listen, that means you want the Torah to affect you. If you don't understand the Torah, you don't make a bird because the Torah far first. The Pshat is, uh, you're not machshiv, you don't understand the Torah, Torah Hashem, you're just learning it like you're some professor. It's not going to help you at all. He said, but if you, if you want the Torah to affect you, you're just learning. He said, that in and of itself will change you, it will transform you completely. Just open up, you just want the Torah to make a difference to you. It's going to completely transform you, it's going to completely change your life. That's the thing. So you have the here. We have to say, the Torah such, such power. Maybe not when one time someone came to someone came to him and he said, What can I do? I'm, I'm doing some various, I don't know how to change. He's like, Learn Torah, the Torah will take you out of it. He's like, But I can't learn. He's like, Oh, if you can't learn, Davin, it's Kashem to help you out, to help you learn. That's when he comes in, you just you know, we have two minutes cough. We just use the tongue, we just use our gut, we just use our things. So that's the Bechin of Bech, of a of a You have to bring the Torah into your life. That's what the commander says here in Eitz Chesed. You bring the Torah into your life and everything will be okay. That's the power of Torah. Those people keep the Torah. We saw this also. A person even keeping the Torah, being connected to the Torah, that's the communities, that's the places where we have a crazy continuity. The Jewish people, there's no way of understanding how we survived. What's the secret of our success? Well, people don't know, but when you let go of the Torah, this community let go of the Torah, the most minimal is Shabbos, Kashrus, Tas, Mishpacha. Those are pretty much the minimum, minimal things. There's no, no, no more staying power. They just either assimilate or something happens, just can't handle it. So the Torah is the main thing, the main way, the main koyach of the Jewish people now. This is Torah, especially, especially deeper things. And especially the Torah, deeper things, like Rishon Bar Chai says, the Torah, the Gemara and Shabbos, the Torah is going to be forgotten for the Jewish people. Rishon Bar Chai says, no, it won't be. And Zakti, Zakti uh, in the Zohar, Rishim Bachai says, through the Zohar it won't be, it's a deeper limudim, either through uh, Hasidus, or through like, the growth very much speaks about these deeper limudim, many, many, many of the greater, uh, the, the great uh, works, they discuss these deeper things, and like, there's a power, there's tremendous koach in the Zohar, and we'll talk about that more, but, but you have to know that if you want to really get it together, and learn deeper things in a good way, the first thing you need to do, the Kali Karcha says, you have to have a good background in Nigla. You have to learn Nigla. If you don't learn Nigla, if you don't learn at least some Alacha, you're going to have a hard time putting it together. You have to have some, at least, at least Alacha. You have to have with approach with humility. That's why the Kavah Chaim also says, he says, you need to learn post game in Briggs. If you don't learn post game, it's very hard. So it's not going to, you can't learn so. You learn that, that day, at least, you have to learn the post game when you're, when you're done and you learn the deeper things. You try to like connect it to a chef. And of course, it depends also on, on your attitude, how you're looking at it, what you're looking at it, if you think you're uh, some kind of, I don't know what. So that's not good. You have to have an attitude of humility and good things. Okay. We'll see, but lot, lot. But the mice, uh, bottom line is that, that if you're searching for Hashem, that's the best way of, of one of the best ways of connecting, that's for sure. That's the story of the Rebosner that I've told a lot of times, I guess I'll tell it again. The Rebosner came into Chazanish. He said, I don't understand. Famously, the Chavot Chaim said, of Shlomo Bluff, for this idea, for the Chavot Chaim, Chaim said that um, every Bach or Yeshiva Bach should learn the Zer and the Parashat went through. So he said, most Yeshivas don't even have a Zer. Where does it say that? In the Maestro Yishak, I could show it to you. But I see just an eight volume compilation of different teachings of the Chazanish, and that's where it is. Um, so it's also the, the this Chavot Chaim, it actually says also it's brought in um, Marani Yisrael, um, which is uh, also a compilation of life of the Chavot Chaim, it's also there. Rechaim Knesky went over it, actually, that particular book. I don't think there's any doubt about it. So um, so he said, I understand most yeshivas don't even have a Zohar, let alone learn the Zohar. They're yeah. supposed to learn the Zohar. So Chazri said, inside. listen, if you learn the Zohar, Kushan on the level, uh, first finish Shazam Poskim, fix your this, then we'll see about learning the Zohar. So if you learn the Zohar to get your Shemaim, he says, there's no better way to get your Shemaim than learning the Zohar. So it totally depends on your attitude. It depends on why you look. If you think you're on a level, you have to be on a level. But if you're not just trying to figure your Shemaim, that's the way. Hashem should be Zoche. Connect to the heart of a to choose life through the Holy Torah, through 
Bring us out.